Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm losing my voice, so I'm supposed to have a presentation. But instead of a dry presentation, I thought that since we are talking about community, um, it's better to do it interactive. I can tell you like what crypto chicks are doing um, to create blockchain community. And then after, you can actually give me your ideas, how you're seeing the blockchain communities to grow and develop. Um, so I, I think that interactive um, exchange is going to be much better than just uh, a, a single presentation. So CryptoChicks is a hub for women, and we are uh, teaching women, but also uh, we are very open to um, everyone, including youth and children. Uh, we creating meetups, workshops, and on the international scale also um, hackathons and the conferences. So how are we seeing actually the communities to grow? Like, um, we believe that there are two paths for the community to grow. One is to scale blockchain and one is to um, utilize blockchain. For scalability, we need developers, we need hackers, uh, we need programmers. For users, we need to uh, attend to private and public sector. Also, um, individuals uh, for everyone to understand what blockchain is, how it works, how it can be used. And instead of being afraid of any innovations or blockchain or artificial intelligence, combination of blockchain international uh, artificial intelligence, I think it's much better for people to be educated. And we think in the education is the foundation of the change. So let's talk, like how do you see actually, you know, for scalability to go through? There's a lot of things right now pertaining to blockchain, which needs to be addressed. It's a, it's a security issue, of course, it's a scalability, um, it's interoperability, but also for general users, like a lot of people still don't know what blockchain is. It's only uh, two tenths of the percent of blockchain applications. So how we can make it global? It has to be through the communities because it is a peer-to-peer, business-to-business platform. So how do you see what it should be done to address those two issues for scalability and usability. I am really actually curious about your voices about it. I know it's a little bit different what you've been um, you know, advised to, to, to have today, but I think it's actually better for all of us to, to talk about it and address those issues. So we also, CryptoChecks, in preparation of our different meetups, workshops, hackathons, and, and presentations, or um, corporate presentations, private presentations, uh, we can apply your ideas to make it everything much better and much more efficient for this community actually to grow. So who wants to voice it first? <laughs> no one. <laughs> well, what, what do you think what is actually needed? Like, do we, do we, yes, we need the communities, but do we really need to focus on building the communities? Yes. It makes some really great products. It would be a lot nicer to have, like, let's say, ganache for teams or, you know, some developer tools that make it easy for me to communicate with my teams. With the team. Yes. Okay. Well, that's actually, you know, very good. But do you think that, do we really need the education for individuals or should we actually concentrate on scalability only and, and addressing all those issues which pertain to, um, to, to blockchain? What's your thought about it? Should we? Yes, yes. <laughs> it's, it's going to be a little bit of the exercise for me. <clears throat> um, so I think a lot of the issues with, around community are very similar to just general large development of projects. Um, personally, I'm very interested in the scalability, mostly because that takes it to the next step, opens it up for what Ethereum, at the very least, was meant for in terms of distributed applications. Uh, so I think we need to do both, really. Uh, we need to figure out a way to interact with each other, to build a community and be more efficient at communicating, uh, as well as using that efficiency to solve the scalability issues. 
So I like when you said that actually those two are very parallel because I believe that um, even if there is a best of the product, if there is no usability for it, if people don't understand how to use it, um, they won't. There is someone else wanted, like you wanted to say something? No? Okay. So, well, so I believe, uh, sure, scalability and uh, community building are both really important, but also what would be important is uh, like a user experience. Right now, uh, it's not very user friendly, so trying to build a community of only like kind of more um, tech savvy elite uh, user base is um, what's only available and like average users are kind of left out currently. So the question for you is how we can do that? Well, I think as uh, projects mature uh, over time, like uh, more companies will take in uh, user experience into account and build better interfaces for average users. Okay. Well, do you, do you think that, for example, engaging the families, for example, like through the um, family weekends, will do like the next generation will probably be as fluent um, in using blockchain, understanding blockchain, as much as right now children understand how everything works with a computer or, or uh, mobiles. So do you think that actually, um, in a way, um, teaching children about the blockchain and for them later on to also go and be interested in the technology and science studies, does it make sense? Or really, in a way, it's better to concentrate right now on on adults only? I think we should probably focus, at least give a bit more focus to the individuals, because, um, and this is, my pers this is my opinion, I don't think it's just about blockchain, I think it's more about focusing on building decentralized systems. And once you realize that you can actually build a decentralized system without putting every single thing on chain, you also relieve some of the scalability issues because if all your smart contracts are on-chain, like definitely if your whole logic of the app is on-chain, you would definitely uh, be limited by the transaction speeds and all that. But if you're able to offset some of that and have like, you know, things with off, like put some data off-chain and be able to interact with that, you would actually relieve some of that, um, like the waiting time and the user experience so scalability could kind of be, you know, pushed a bit down so that people can actually understand, okay, you're meant to build dApps in a way that, and this is just my opinion, in a way that can actually achieve decentralization without really forcing blockchain in every single, like, application. So I think maybe we should focus on the individuals. Yes, so blockchain is supposed to be borderless. And um, crypto chicks also have different chapters around the world. We're trying actually to build the communities um, uh, around, you know, in Europe and also Middle East, uh, as well as in Africa and South America, and of course in um, in US as well. Like, do you think that it's better to concentrate actually on the block of community development, or is it better to have right away the expansion into different parts of the world? Um, I think right now we are very uh, disproportionately global. Um, I think that a lot of people in the space have been given a wonderful opportunity to kind of grow that global space and we've left behind a lot of people who maybe weren't on that initial ship. Um, so I think we really need to come back to our communities and take a lot of what we've learned from the global community and try to hone that back in on our local communities. That's great. So um, do you think actually that in the future, like right now, it, uh, like I mentioned, it's only a small percentage of the blockchain development. Um, do you think that um, in the near future, we have a chance to build the communities to speed up everything and, and have um, a bigger blockchain development? Or we just actually right now in the, um, we looking for the term like 10, 20 years, or there is a chance for us to have a faster application of blockchain? This is more of a general question, but um, one of the barriers I see um, with adoption in the communities is that we can't get a lot of the applications into Apple Store and the Google Play Store and a lot of applications are getting rejected and their applications are denied. Um, so it would be nice if there was a way that we as developers knew what we could and could not put in the App Store to help 
um, our application development because to me, if we can't have applications that get approved in the App Store, it's hard to think about scalability or future applications that will be utilized. Great, and there, there is actually, um, we coming up to our 10 minutes, but um, I really want to ask this question because right now, since you mentioned um, Apple and they are like Amazon and Google, they're getting into blockchain uh, really extensively. Do you think that actually blockchain communities eventually are going to develop um, around those organizations or is it a chance for smaller groups uh, to form and smaller companies and, and the community around those smaller companies? Who has the chance to win? I think it's probably a case-by-case -case basis. I've seen different fangs taking um, different approaches to the space, some very uninformed and some a little bit more thoughtful. Um, then maybe like one or possibly two carve out a niche in the space, but it will mostly be the top line of incumbents rather than success of the incumbents. Do you think that um, different regions of the world have bigger chance for blockchain adoption and community growing, such as, for example, base um, between the need and want? Like, for example, in North America, we want blockchain. In Africa, um, blockchain, it's, it's needed because it provides certain solutions. So do you think that those regions um, or South America or Middle East, they have like bigger blockchain adoption and community creation than in North America? Um, yeah, I think Africa is definitely a great example of how it may actually be leveraged to create a more sustainable uh, community that could actually withstand some of the issues that we're bound to see within this kind of like North American uh, culture. Um, yeah. Well, I really appreciate that will also help a lot crypto chicks to develop um, future ideas and, and create everything around uh, blockchain communities. I really appreciate um, your interactions, and thank you so much for the answers. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Hi, I'm Audrey. I'm also with Crypto Chicks, uh, and we just want to announce that we are working on a Toronto hackathon and conference event for the end of May, beginning of June, and our featured speaker will be Vitalik Buterin. Thank you very much. I'd advise everyone to check out the great work that Crypto Chicks is doing. They've done a uh, quite a good job of creating a community and enabling the marginalized uh, sectors of the tech stack to kind of get more involved.